Yeah, good morning. Um, great to be with you. Uh, I, we, we are actually very confident for the underlying demand in North America at this point. Uh, volumes are still uh, going okay. Uh, in other parts of the world, uh, especially in Europe, we see some decline in residential, uh, at, as we already said. Commercial, I think, is still holding up well. Infrastructure is holding up very well. And Asia, I think, is ready for a rebound. Uh, they had some tough uh, couple of months uh, behind them. So uh, Asia, we are actually quite confident. Very interesting. What is that confidence based on at this point? Because we, we see no pivot in China on COVID zero. And we know other countries are also being somewhat affected by this, um, this desire to push interest rates up and, uh, and tighten the cost of money. Well, absolutely. China for us is not a huge market, so I won't comment too much on China. But Indo Indonesia for us is big. Australia for us is big. India is big. Thailand is big. Malaysia is big. So in that respect, uh, they are going against a very uh, low comp last year. And we are confident uh, that also the weather events in Australia will come to an end at some point and we'll, we'll see some uh, rising trends. Morning, Dominic. Good to see you. Look, in case anyone was in doubt, I've counted uh, 18 uh, mentions of Heidelberg materials behind you. In case anyone was wondering that you've changed your name. Why have you done it? Uh, great. Uh, we, uh, we really wanted to accelerate our transformation towards the most sustainable product portfolio in our industry. And that's not only based on cement. We are less than 50% of our revenues are actually in cement, but it will be more based on concrete uh, aggregates and other materials around that. So in that respect, it's a massive push now internally and externally on our most sustainable product portfolio. You didn't pay the consultants too much. Never like giving them guys too much money. Uh, Dominic, um, in terms of these raw material costs, let me get to the serious really serious question here as well the prices are going up you've made that very clear as well when does this translate into less economic activity from your clients as well who are just unwilling to pay the extra prices and are delaying projects Look, there is no flat out answer on that. Uh, I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't be fair to say there are already some projects uh, being put on hold. I think that's, uh, that's the nature of the game, uh, especially in residential, as I said before. For us, you know, it's very critical, and that's why Q3 now was so critical. Look at what the energy prices did through July, August, and September in Europe. And nevertheless, the comp company weathered the storm. We came out on the same profit as uh, last year in the same quarter. So I would say resilience for very short-term actions is key. And that's, I mean, I heard you on the show talking about the uncertainty in the future. We need to manage the uncertainty and nevertheless uh, deliver the right results. That's what we are all about at Heidelberg Materials. Dominic, I'm, I'm, I'm really very glad you're listening to the show, even when you're not on as well. So much appreciated, sir. But, but, but in terms of our political masters and leaders who have made a pig's ear of a lot of things for all of us, let's be honest about it, they were too late on interest rates. They got the energy policy wrong from Europe as well. And I'm talking about all of our masters here, whether they're central bankers or politicians. Are we getting any solid guidance? guidance from either at the moment about the way forward. You've mentioned uncertain times. We've mentioned uncertain times. Do you think we're getting a steering hand? Well, we all hope for that. Uh, I'm not going to be in the camp to bash on politicians or on central bankers. I think it is a difficult job right now. We can only do our homework and weather the storm for the companies. We try to be the anchor in that storm, and, and that's what we are fighting for. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.